got the Civic in here. And we're going to do, I guess, kind of like an off-road build for it. I think it'll be awesome. It's not doing anything. It's just here. So we're going to try. We're just going to troubleshoot, change the oil in it, and kind of generally check out the condition of the engine, I guess, without going too far into it. Cause I don't really care too much about it, but I'd like it to run at least one, one good pass off-road. So I guess what we're doing is just super... I wouldn't even call it a budget build because it's <laughs> it's a budget build. <laughs> it's it's a budget build. I mean, it's ridiculously the budget for this build is like zero dollars, but we're gonna make something work. The most I plan on spending for this car is like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, Hopefully, man. the tire the the tires are was gonna cost most because I plan on switching wheels and tires. I, I could probably sell these and get the money for that. To be honest with you. So what we just did, we got the plugs out, and now we're about to look at the pistons. Since since this is a budget build, he's cleaning the plugs for me. Yeah. We're just gonna throw them back in and kind of go for it. I think we have to. Go so we're way. trying to get the camera in close enough to see the piston, but we can't really see it. You just barely see it right there at the top. <laughs> my valve cover squirting when i oh god there's no way that's good no i heard it yep i heard it too that's a reasonable amount <laughs> If any oil even comes out. Yeah, I still can't get it on my finger yet. <laughs> it might be, dude. It's probably already got coolant in the oil. I mean, just run straight coolant with that oil. Uh -oh. Maybe when we get a little bit bigger, we could do stuff like that. We're a little bit too broke to just, you know, waste a motor, waste a whole car. I mean, the car's already fucked. Well, no, but it still runs and drives. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh God! <laughs> Do you yeah. see that? Oh, dude. Oh, dude, it's so thick. <laughs> oh God! It <laughs> chunks are coming out. Probably chunks of the goddamn piston. Oh god, dude. You want dish? Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh! She's nice. <laughs> I'll just wait till you see the video. Hey, she runs. All right, guys, so we've assessed that the car runs pretty good now. So we're going to do something else that was we'll super you. budget. Nick had this. It, it barely works, but it works just good enough. And it's a lot bar. We're about to mount a lot bar up. We're just going to put two on each side because I ain't got enough to do three. Okay, so we're just we're yeah, drilling holes for the rivets. The right there you go. Oh. That's why you're supposed to use a little punch. To get started so your brother don't wonder well, we got a punch yeah that's pretty cool i think it's gonna be awesome after we get everything fixed on it no. it's not perfect but it's good enough i mean watch it turn the lights off it is i mean you still be able to see wrong uh, yeah i don't see nobody complaining <laughs> so what we're doing now is uh, running the wire from the battery to a toggle, toggle to the light bar. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I mean, it's gonna be so white trash. It's gonna be absolutely ratchet, but I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. It already looks so amazing. 
We still haven't even cut the fenders yet. I'm going to have to mark that here in a little bit. So it's just going to be awesome. So this could be a fire hazard. <laughs> you barely but missed the fuse box. We've just kind of got it ran up through here. And we're just going to mount it right here. I mean, it's not beautiful, but it's it'll work. It'll look good after we get it tucked and all that, that good stuff. I also I drilled a hole right here. And uh, there's a fuse box back there. I didn't know it was there, so I, I hit it. You didn't quite hit it. You got really close. I touched it. <laughs> you touched the bracket to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you where we hid the toggle switch. I, this is my favorite part, to be honest with you. We tucked it right down in there. You just flip it. Take her for her first drive. Letting Bondi drive it. Oh. Started, started to go on our way. And when you know it, we forgot the tire is very low on air. No, there's no air in this. So now we've got to air the tire up. So <laughs> we took her to get some gas and that's to the floor. Well, now it's going to start working a little bit. She's not happy. So I guess we're just going to try and limp it home. It's home. Turn your light bar back on so we can see. <laughs> I'm to the floor right now, by the way, and I'm going five miles an hour. Six. We hit six. You good? There ain't shit coming. <laughs> okay, there's a car coming. Turn the light bar off. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So first gear is kind of all we've got right now. Hey, we hit 18. That's a new record. 19. See, the first day I drove it to the garage, I was doing like 30, 35. No problem. Just like it was to the gas station. It was running pretty good. But for some reason, now it's got problems. <laughs> we couldn't go fast even if we wanted to right now. I guess I'm to the floor. Some bitch is going to blow or make it home one. Maybe. Oh, we hit 20 and it starts sputtering. Oh, well, it's cleared up a little bit. Anyway. I think we need a throttle position sensor. I think we need a lot of something. <laughs> well, the bright side, the airbags aren't working oh. again. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the hell's scraping, but it don't sound healthy. I'm through the floor pulling into the garage. I'm maxed. <laughs> There's Nick. He didn't want to come with us on the death machine. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to try and figure out what the hell is wrong with this car. Everything. I'm not seeing anything dripping. There's no coolant. I smell it. I, I don't know. All right, so it said five codes, and we're just trying to get it to pop up. Oh, yeah, there we go. go. We have an O2 sensor, cylinder, cylinder one misfire, cylinder four, four misfire, random, random multi-cylinder misfire. <laughs> That's more than five. <laughs> oh, God. Cylinder, <laughs> cylinder, but no thrash. Cylinder sensor. four misfire, one, two, all of them but three. Yep. Wow. So we watched a video. And the dude said his do, his Honda Civic done the same thing, and he said first to spray WD-40 on the cool packs. So we did. They're over here, and uh, well, we're just we're gonna let them dry out, and then we're gonna retry it. So the cool packs had a lot of corrosion inside the what would you call it? The tube, the cool pack tube. Oh, you're talking about the rubber boot? Yeah, the rubber boot, the boot. So Bondi's just checking the pistons again, make sure there's nothing getting in on top of those, which I don't think there is. I think for the most part, uh, it's just a Honda Civic. You can't ask for too much. It's either gonna run or it's not, but I think we're gonna get it to run good. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get it to run. 
Wants to put a V8 in it. Oh. <laughs> LS swap it? Yeah. What do you think, Bondi? I'm gonna go fit an LS in here. Well, if we just cut whoa, 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 everything. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I've seen them put LSs in Beetles, man. We can make an LS fit in this. I think we could. And actually, did you know on the Beetle that I seen, they actually made it a, a sideways motor like this, so it was actually front wheel drive? Really? Yes. That would be pretty cool. I don't know why. It's a whole lot of work, but they uh, It sounds like a whole lot of work that I'm not willing to <laughs> we do don't have the money at all. Or the skill to do that. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. All right, so got everything in it. They're gonna go try it out, which it don't. It don't sound like it's doing any better. Hang on. All right, then. Pull it back in, I guess. No, we'll take it for yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Ready to go see it die. We're going to see if this thing will do a burnout. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but we're cutting the body line where the fenders are to give some more clearance. All right, so Nick and Bondi, that fit is pretty good. You can see we're gonna, we're gonna, it, it's a work, it's a work in progress. We're gonna get the rest fixed up, but as of right now, that's how it looks. It's in the, um, it don't look good face. I was gonna say, well, I smoothed it up. The fender's actually pretty yeah. good. The quarter panel is what I'm gonna go back over. We'll worry. We yeah. probably won't even touch it, to be honest, because it'll be... Fender flares is going to cover it all. But, hey, you don't want to leave that because it's like this jagged piece of uh, metal slats a tire. Well, see, we're going to fix thing. that, but it ain't going to be perfect is what I'm saying. Oh, no, see, that's what I'm saying. So, these right here. So, you just want to make it where you can walk up to it and do this. And yeah. You don't get, the tire don't get busted. That's yeah, right now, the car is in the, it doesn't look too good face. <laughs> but. It runs perfect, though. It don't run perfect at all. <laughs> to the floor, right now it's doing like seven miles an hour. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. That. You guys will see the video. I stomped that sucker. Yeah, he, he had it to the floor and it just wouldn't go nowhere. Too bad we didn't get the burnout. <laughs> I, I think I did actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, back there? Yeah, no, no, right oh, here. Here I did. I got the one here. I didn't get the one down the road. No. Uh, I don't think you could hear it on the video. And Bondi wanted me to neutral drop that thing. It's fine. It's... I just slammed it to fucking neutral while he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so what we've done today is we got fenders cut, oil change, diagnosed that it doesn't run good. We checked the diagnostic on it. We checked the diagnostic on it, and it confirmed what we thought. Random it doesn't misfire. run good. Oh, yeah. And random then, misfire. That's all it says is random misfire. It's coming from somewhere. We're assuming fuel, so... Hopefully one of the next few things on it, because this is a budget build, we're going to try and get the fuel fixed. If not, we're just going to hope that we get out of a trail within a day. Yeah, within a day. <laughs> or we'll, we'll we'll using, the way it's going. Yeah, we'll be using the Jeep. So, I guess in the next, the next time you see this car, I think we're going to be dropping the fuel tank, changing the fuel filter, because that's, that's, that's our go-to. I think we've got a clogged fuel filter from where it sets so long out of fuel. When it finally got fuel, we're thinking it just drug up a bunch of stuff in the filter. So I think that's where we're going to go to next on this thing. I really don't... It's going to have uh, spring spacers on the suspension to, to, to lift it because they're, it's pretty cheap. And I'm not wanting to put too much yeah, into it. Lift, like, like for what? Like the little pieces that go it, on It's the like springs? a three inch rubber spacer that goes on top. Yeah, that's, yeah they're the not same. expensive like you said. Yeah. They're fairly cheap, I think. I think I should be able to get all four at around $100 or so. I don't really, there's no set Anyone budget. Who wants to lift their Honda Civic, buddy, we send you in that path. There's no set budget except for cheap. Oh, it's going to be cheap. Could the budget be 500? Sure, we could spend 500 bucks on it, but I don't want to. I'm willing to go as much as we have to go. When we pulled the light bar on an old boat. 
the lap bar is Nick's yeah. old lap bar. Yeah, we pulled it out of a boat. <laughs> and we just wired it up at work, so we're just oh, going to leave it no. instead of buying a new yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to work yeah. so good. Is she on the toggle switch? Ready? Yeah, check it. It just flickers. Like, it mean. works. All we need is light, and that's what we got. So, we had some complications along the way. I was bolting the fender back up because it was loose and had to make shift a bolt to go in and the washer was too big and it busted the glass. Oh, no. it's, <laughs> if anything, we gave it a little bit less weight. It should run better. So with oh. that being said, Nick, what are they gonna do? Like, subscribe, comment. Why don't you just unbolt it? It's not a bolt that's holding it. That's a bolt. It's not a bolt. That's a bolt. It's not. It's a piece of metal. Brother, that's a bolt. He's looking at it. No, that's a fucking piece of metal. Yeah, but it's under the bolt. Not anymore, it's not.